a few minutes. Now, from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. March is a month of goodbyes. Goodbye to winter, goodbye to remaining Valentine's Day candy, and for the Missouri Tigers men's basketball team, a goodbye to the Big 12. Before any farewells can be said, though, Mizzou has to say hello to the first round of the Big 12 tournament and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. The Sprint Center in Kansas City hosts the Big 12 tourney. Four minutes into the game, game tied at six, Kim English sinks the three, puts them up nine to six, and that is going to be a theme in this first half. 13 to six now, Tigers. Pressy pushes it up to Kim English, who gets the bucket and the foul. That's good for another three. Now 18 to six, Tigers. Matt Pressy from behind the arc sinks that one. It's 21 to six. Tigers went on a 17 to zero run in the first half. Ten of those 17 coming from this man, English doing what he does best, scoring. Another three puts him up 37 to 11, six minutes remaining in the first half. And now English again, grabbing the rebound everywhere on the court. He had 27 points in this game. It's 49 to 27 Tigers at the half. Then, not to be outdone, first team all Big 12, Marcus Denman gets the points in the paint there. Then later in the half, it's 61-39. Denman driving, gets the foul. He'll take, he'll take the foul with that bucket. 24 points for Marcus Denman. But not to be outdone, Brian Williams here lays it down for the Cowboys. It's 75-53 Tigers, but Tigers just too much scoring there. Dick, Mike Dixon slashes to the basket. And that's going to be all. 88-70, to your final for the Missouri Tigers. We got out to an amazing start. Uh, Kimmy was running the floor well because uh, obviously he didn't have to box out a big, so he was kind of playing like a guard and transitioned, uh, got some easy transition baskets and got us going. And uh, it was just a great overall win. I mean, everybody played well. The biggest thing about Marsh is energy, is energy. And uh, we really wanted to come out with a concerted effort defensively to exert a lot of energy because if we get stopped, and the offense kind of just works for itself. Kimmy was hot early, so I mean, he was a big reason why I got a lot of assists early. And then with Marcus hitting shots and Ricardo, my brother, and Mike, and them scoring, I mean, when they hit shots, I mean, I can get a lot of assists. So, I mean, I'm just glad I got guys that can score like that because without them, it wouldn't be possible. So who does Missouri play next round? Fred Hoiberg and Iowa State take on the Texas Longhorns. First half, Scott Christopherson pushes it to Melvin Ejim for the dunk, 22-19 Cyclones. Next possession, Christopherson finds Boo Boo Paolo, 4-3, puts some boo-boos on the Longhorns. It's 25-19 Cyclones. They go up 29-25 at half, but Mike Cabongo finds Julian Lewis for the layup. It's 40-35 Iowa State, and then for Texas, Lewis in the corner. 4-3, 48-44 Texas there. The Longhorns get the victory 71-65 and move to the semifinal round. So here's a look at your Big 12 tournament for today. The no regular season champion in the Big 12, Kansas, takes on Baylor at 6.30 p.m. And then the Missouri Tigers face the Texas Longhorns in the late game at 9 p.m. While the Missouri men look to defend their two-seed in the Big 12 tourney, Missouri women's basketball look to knock off a two-seed. After upsetting, upsetting Oklahoma State yesterday, Mizzou faces Oklahoma. The 13 and 17 Tigers square off at Municipal Arena in Kansas City. And they log the first points of the game here. Morgan I sinks the three, puts them up three to nothing early. Then it's I, who spies another three, puts them up 11 to two. The Tigers went and got to a 13 to two lead in the first half, but Oklahoma is not having anything of it. It's coast to coast here for the layup for Oklahoma's Morgan Hook. That makes the score 16 to 7 Oklahoma. And then Hook finds Jolina Serena in the paint. And that does it for the Tigers. Their season ends at 13 and 17. Sooners win the game 70 to 59. The Rockbridge Bruins women's basketball team enter a semifinal round themselves. The Bruins begin the final stretch of the Class 5 championships against Incarnate Word at Mizzou Arena. Here. The Bruins getting ready here for their semifinal matchup. It's mid-first quarter, and Taylor Manuel makes the outlet pass to Gwen Adams, and Adams finds Sierra Young for the layup. It's 6-2, Incarnate Word, early on. Then, second quarter, Letitia Deloach, three ball, caps a 12-1 run. It's 20-5, Incarnate Word. And later in the second quarter, Lindsey Cunningham drives, makes the layup, 20-10, Incarnate Word. Cunningham doing what she's done all year, providing for the Bruins. Late third quarter, Sierra Porter, 15-foot jumper, it's 34 to 30, Incarnate Word now. Six minutes left in the game. Lindsey Cunningham outlet passes to sister Sophie Cunningham, gets the layup, and one. 
The game is now tied at 34. One minute later, Sophie Cunningham's free throw gives Rock Bridge its first lead since 2-1 to one early. It's 35-34 Rock Bridge, then 90 seconds to go. Lindsey Cunningham finds Shayla Cheadle for a layup. 38-34 Rock Bridge, and Rock Bridge is a winner. 46-43, to 43. move on to the final on Saturday. And that is all for sports. Now, now Megan, now Missouri has a big game coming up, obviously, right. later tonight. And this could have huge implications going in to the next game. You have to think, with if they end up with a Big 12 title under their belt, is a number one seed in oh, the yeah. NCAA tournament Absolutely. in Absolutely. Yeah. And they'll be playing in St. Louis, which is all the more better. Right. Well, if, if we win the Big 12, then, you know, no, no problems. Not going to be an easy road either, though. You have to play Texas or Kansas or Baylor. Neither of those teams really you want Especially to see if you're in Missouri. those uniforms, the Baylor uniforms. That's right. Uh, the I lime mean, green. Very distracting. Very right. distracting. we got to run. Lucas, thank you. Let's take a live look over Columbia 552. We'll be right back. How about this one, Jerry? On average, one inch of rain is equivalent to how many inches of snow? 10 inches, 5 inches, or 1 inch? 10 inches. Correct.